Making simple games with the programming language you learn while learning any programming language is an element that increases your learning desire. In this video, we will make a rock paper scissors game that you can play against the computer by using the random library, which is often used in the Python programming language. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. The computer has to randomly choose between rock, paper, or scissors. For this, import the random library into the project. Sync rock, paper, and scissors options with a variable. Create a variable for the computer. You can make a random selection from the list you created in the previous variable by using the choice function of the random library. Although not necessary, set the player variable to false mode to start. Create the CPU score variable for scoring the rock paper scissors game that we will play against the computer. Create player score variable to save our own score. Start an endless while loop. First, ask the user to make a selection using the input function. Sync this selection with the player variable. If the player and computer variables are the same, then use the print command to print a text indicating drawing to the console. If the user has selected the rock option and the computer selection is paper, print a text indicating that you lost to the console screen using the print command. Then increase the CPU score variable by 1. If the computer selection is not paper, then print a text stating that you have won. Then increase the player score variable by 1. Create a query to control whether the player selects the paper option. If the computer selected the scissors option, print a text stating that you lost it. Increase the CPU score variable by 1. If the computer has not selected the scissors option, print a text stating that you have won. In this case, increase the player score variable by 1. Create a query that checks that the user has selected the scissors option. In this case, if the computer selects the rock option, print a text stating that you lost it. Increase the CPU score variable by 1. If the computer does not select the rock option, print a text stating that you have won. Increase the player score variable by 1. Let's design it to end the game with end when the user wants to end the game and see the recorded scores. Create a query for it. When the user wants to end the game with end, use the Python format feature to print all the scores on the screen. Then complete the game by typing the break code to end the while loop. But there is a problem. Since the computer selection is not in a while loop, the selection will remain constant every time the game restarts. To avoid this problem, let's use the selection process in a while loop. Run the project and let's test the rock, paper, scissors game we designed. Let's start the game. Since we do the selection process in a while loop, the selections will be updated every time the game restarts. Now let's use the end command to end the game. When we finish the game using the end command, we can see the computer and our own score on the console screen. We have completed the rock, paper, scissors game in a simple way. Don't forget to improve the rock, paper, scissors game. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.